Hello, this reading is going to be about the Schultz family. Uh, Father Mako, mother Sylvia, daughter Miriam, went missing July 24th, 2015 from Drag, Harburg, Germany. Uh, let's see what I get. I don't think I'm going to do a part one and part two. I just want to mainly pull on camera. So, the Schultz family, what happened? air so the mind thought clarity flexibility communication aloofness the schultz family I got one of these sadness um i think it was rumored that they were possibly getting a divorce or going to be separating the Schultz family, monkey, immaturity. Monkey symbolizes playfulness. If drawn, there will be a need to relax a little and not take life so seriously can also be drawn if there is a childish adult in your social circle. Star sign Leo can be present when this card is drawn, and it can represent the monkey in the Chinese zodiac. Ah, uh, one more. Schultz family, what happened? Oh yeah, storms. Oya is the goddess of storms from Yoruba, Nigeria. Temple warriors, element water. So I have air and water. Um, what did that say? A Leo? Monkey, monkey, Leo. Yep. Um, wielding her powerful sword of truth. Oya is the Yoruba goddess of storms, wind, and lightning. Storms bring shift, rapid, and uncontrollable change, and at times, chaos. The winds of change are emotion. Into every life, a little rain must fall. Personal storms clear away the old. Sometimes change moves slowly. At other times, change is swift. Embodiment. What would you like to change? If you are not actively changing it, you are choosing it. To make shift happen, focus on what you want. Stop giving energy to what is not working. The biggest thing holding you back is you. You want people in life to treat you better, you go first. If you act, if you attract betrayals, stress, and strife, the common denominator is you. Beating yourself up is self-harm. Feel your feelings. Honor your journey. Tell yourself the truth and practice self-compassion. Quote is, I make shift happen. So somebody swung a sword of truth. Clarity came, which brought sadness. Probably about how immature somebody was. Let's see. Um, I'm going to ask this from Sylvia's perspective. Sylvia, can you tell me what happened? Sylvia, can you tell me what happened? The devil. Temptation, control. Either something or somebody has control over somebody. The moon secrets came out. The magician. Ooh. Sylvia. So somebody could have been manipulating things. Somebody could have been practicing magic. Somebody could have been practicing um, binding on 
the mother. Let me get for him. Marco, what happened? Three of Cups. Nine of Cups. Seven of Cups. It's a lot of Cups. Nine, sixteen, nineteen, ten of Cups, nine of Cups. Happiness, uh, solitary happiness about something to do with the family. Illusions, delusions, having lots of choices. Uh, not being picked. Uh, three of Cups, friendship, invitations, dates. All right, let me ask from Miriam's point of view what happened. Miriam, what happened? Wheel of Fortune. What happened, Miriam? Five of Swords, Defeat. And the Fool. So The wheel had turned. Who was on top has now become on, has now become at the bottom. Oh, this is like one of those weird um, two thought the year two thousand when everybody thought the world was going to end. This is kind of what this feels like to me. All right, let's see. Marco, what happened? Sylvia, Miriam, Marco, a lot of money, Ace of Wands, Sylvia, sorry. A deal with the devil. Marco, four of swords, a dark haired woman. And Miriam, five of wands, victory. Which is weird because I have victory and defeat. <clears throat> Two five signifies a vigil, so staying up all night. Pay homage to something or someone. Maybe he kept them up out of like image being an asshole. Uh, I want to use this deck. How many do I have? Four, one, two, three. Ace of Swords. Um, this is arguments about money. The rapiers warn us against assaults, which threaten and will occur sooner or later, according to distance from the person. So that's Sylvia. There was an argument about money. Two aces. She was tricked. Tricked into making a decision about an alliance. Marco, Six of Cups, the house denotes success in all ventures. If present condition is unpleasant, the future will be happy and prosperous. Also predicts marriage. 
So now I have 9, 18, 18, 25 cups, 10, 10, 5. And Miriam, what happened? Nine of Wands. The park foretells a new love when very near, if distant, false friends. So maybe a friend set them up. Or maybe Sylvia or Marco were having an affair and they couldn't take it. Things were about to end. Side. Thought, clarity, flexibility, communication, and aloofness. Monkey immaturity. So somebody was playing dumb. Like they weren't doing what they were doing. And proof probably came, which brought the storm. I don't think that they expected for the storm to play out like it did. Um, okay, let me get one more. Can you guys tell me? What this is all about. Which chakra does this have to do with? What is this about? Why did all this happen to this family? Forgiveness. Uh, something in the head. Something in the crown chakra. Forgiveness. Rhonda Rhino from Amethyst. Amethyst protects us from toxic situations. This card indicates healing and allowing yourself to return to the natural state of peace once again. Remember, we need we never forgive others. We only forgive ourselves for loving others who betrayed us. This is a time of personal evolution. Um... Belonging, self-forgiveness, fulfillment. This may be a time of family healing. Can I forgive myself for loving people who hurt me? Wishes fulfilled, holding on to dreams, past wounding. We never forgive others, only ourselves for having judged them. Uh, this have to do with the daughter they shared or the daughter before that let's see forgiveness for what one two forgiveness for what All right the son forgiving the father, the man of the relationship, the secret that got illuminated, four of wands, something about the house, something that happened in the house, and the emperor in reverse. So forgiving the father, he did something and blow. Hmm. The emperor in reverse. For being so controlling. Aggression, tyranny, control, and domination of others. Hang-ups about one's father or men in general. All right, that's what I got for the Schultzes. Thank you.